The Office of the Attorney General has, according to Bangkok Media, set up a panel to look into the decision of prosecutors to drop charges against Vora Youth, Youth Vidya. The charges were dropped by prosecutors eight years after the final hit and run and his fleeing aboard. That's an investigation into the decision, though, and doesn't indicate a decision reversal. This is the Red Bull Company, founded by his grandfather, went public in saying that he has no shareholding or has ever held an active management position within the company. Thailand reports nine cases of the Chinese-born COVID virus on Sunday, all in quarantine as arrivals here. The virus, though, is acting strangely, as several of those discovered to have COVID-19 were tested negative on arrival, with the virus only discovered six to seven days later, raising the question as to how it gestates and whether a newer test could be developed to spot it earlier. This, as Thai scientists have also warned against not wearing masks, Latest tests show that the virus can be airborne and can survive in the air for several hours, and those facts have been confirmed in the United States too. Three Bangladeshi men were nabbed crossing illegally into Thailand from Cambodia, spotted swimming across the canal. They were quickly nabbed as illegal entry is becoming an issue here. All had their passports and no word on whether their border swims were organised and sold to them or their own idea. Either way, they were in quarantine as the authorities decide what to do with them. Thai Airways is operating two flights to Frankfurt and Main in August to help those who need to get home. Those flights will also be available to Thai nationals who want to come back here too. The dates? Well, it's the 10th and the 21st. And bookings can be made from now on, perhaps with the chance of using any vouchers that tourists have for Thai Airways too. But that hasn't been confirmed. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, the wrong people got burned at the local crematorium last week. An explosion there saw two staff burned badly and the coffin of a man due to be sent to meet his maker removed to another crematorium for disposal. Checks revealed that either a broken gas pipe had caused the problem or that the system was on when the operators thought it was off. Either way, when they lit it, the area was gas-filled and repairs are underway as the two men are being treated. 90-day reporting is now fully back on track for long-term visa holders, online or in person, and that needs to be up to date by the end of August. An arrest of a local drug dealer carrying with him some 8 kilograms of ice, worth over a million baht during a police sting, has seen him seriously questioned and information given to the police on his suppliers. The chain is said to be a large one. The top dogs have already fled. This is the 26-year-old continues to offer up information, which may help him get his sentence slightly reduced, but other dealers should be scared, as names up and down the chain have been shared. The city and region has been rocking this weekend, four-day holidays for the Thais, and the main roads were bumper to bumper with Bangkok registered cars. Not just the city either, but out to Satahip, Rayong and beyond seeing a mini-revival for those who cater for Thai customers and a traffic nightmare for anyone on the roads. The holiday continues through till Tuesday and, of course, that means that government offices are closed until Wednesday too. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 32, dropping down to 28, with black skies promised at some time during the day. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.